Thank you. Thank you very much, High Representative. Thank you, Josep. Uh, well, today um, we have uh, not only uh, had a, a very fruitful meeting with the Eastern Partner Countries, but we have uh, prepared also the ground for uh, the leaders uh, meeting. Next week we have uh, an Eastern Partnership Leaders Summit, uh, also through video conferencing. Um, and as you can imagine, uh, there were two uh, topics to cover. First was the COVID crisis response, and the second was, of course, the future of the Eastern Partnership. Um, as you may have seen, already in March, we came forward uh, with the renewal uh, of the Eastern Partnership, and we have uh, made it very clear, uh, also back then, but today, uh, I think uh, all the member states uh, who took the floor have made this uh, remark very strong that for Europe, Eastern Partnership is a key, key priority uh, still, and it will continue to be uh, the, the, uh, the key priority uh, for us. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, we have mobilized uh, almost 1 billion euros uh, in help. Uh, we have tried to do it as fast as we could. Um, there were three uh, strands of the work, first for the immediate needs where we have mobilized uh, 80 million euros, out of which uh, we have been supplying and we continue to supply uh, the medical equipment uh, and the uh, necessary equipment to fight uh, the health crisis. Then we worked on uh, to create uh, resilience uh, when it comes to uh, the healthcare and the, and the social system, so that uh, intensive care units uh, and uh, social assistance can be provided for the most vulnerable, but also we started to provide help uh, for the small and medium-sized enterprises uh, so that we keep the economy running and we help uh, uh, these countries to keep their uh, economies afloat uh, and to limit uh, the damage, the economic damage uh, this uh, crisis uh, could, um, could create. Now, when I talk about the future, and when we have been discussing this, I think uh, we had um, um, agreement almost um, by all participants that after the COVID, of course, resilience, which is already in our document, resilience is going to be the key theme uh, of the future uh, of uh, our partnership with the Eastern countries. Resilience, uh, especially when it comes to uh, the economy or when it comes to uh, connectivity, when it comes to um, joining uh, these countries with our key policy objectives like uh, the Green Deal uh, or uh, the Digital uh, Europe uh, Initiative. Uh, but for that, we need to create first a healthy economy. I think uh, we have confirmation uh, from their side that they also uh, consider this to be uh, a priority. Uh, in that, of course, transport and energy networks are going to be key. Uh, and also digital ne networks uh, that will uh, boost uh, rapidly uh, the economic uh, recovery. Um, as you may have seen already, um, solidarity uh, is in the making also um, in other neighborhood uh, countries, so the Western Balkans, also uh, the southern neighborhood countries. But I want to underline uh, that we have been able to help the Eastern Partner countries very well, very fast. Um, I can give you figures if you're interested on, on the actual uh, delivery uh, we made and we continue to make there. And I think that this, is, uh, this, this only shows that uh, we have been on top uh, to help all neighborhoods uh, surrounding us. Thank you. <laughs>